Okay, here's the RS-10 with the new X5 body, circa 2004 or so. Had this sitting around the garage a friend of mine gave me a while back. It was just a, it was actually an RC car, but it was one of those, you know, ones you buy at a dealership or whatever to mock up your car. But, um, I didn't have to move the, the post or anything um, from the original body. I can swap the other one back on. So I just took my time and drilled it out. So I can just uh, you know, slide off. Actually, you can even pop the door to uh, take it off the hooks there. So that works pretty good. Closes up. Still have all my articulation there. Haven't had much rub trouble. It's pretty close, but it's all right. So, pretty happy with it. Um, I put the new Hot Bodies 2.2 white dot rovers and on, and those things are insane. I, actually, I'm afraid I'm going to strip something to buy driving on the carpet. It's so tacky and sticky. I think it'd climb up a greased glass wall. Um, but anyway, the only negative with putting a body like this on is, of course, it's a good bit heavier. Lost a little bit of center of gravity, uh, so I probably won't use it to do any serious rock crawling. Just because, you know, it's going to want to flop over on its side more. A little uh, force gear action here to get around. And so there you go. Give you a different angle here. Pretty happy with the Red Cat RS10 for the price. You really can't go wrong. Um, thinking about different ways to do maybe a dig mode, but I don't know. There's nowhere around here that re really does any kind of serious competition stuff, so just more my boys and I playing around, so. But we've had a lot of fun with them. And there's what you get when you have a heavy body. So, oh, I should probably block out that uh, license plate number, huh? So you don't call the cops. Catch you on the next one. Thanks.